Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. Some more information has been revealed about the cost cap for this year, and Mercedes team boss Toyota Wolf has made a new statement. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with the cost cap, with reports in recent days suggesting that up to three teams may have breached the 2022 limit. Now the cap for last season was $140 million and if any team were to go over that, then a penalty will follow. Like when Rebel were found to have breached the 2021 limit, they were handed a reduction in wind tunnel time, as well as a large fine. But while allegations that multiple teams may have been over the limit in 2022, Sky F1 say sources at the FIA have dismissed that, as the auditing process is still ongoing, and no decisions have been made. Now this is set to be complete in the coming weeks, and Sky F1 say that a period for the finalization of the review will follow, and any suggestions of delays to the process, or potential breaches, are understood to be completely unfounded. And apparently almost all of the leading F1 teams have indicated that they've not breached the budget cap, and are continuing to work with the FIA. So I guess now it's just a waiting game to see what happens. But I do think that if teams have broken the cost cap, sporting penalties will follow. I know economic factors like inflation would have made it much harder to stay in the cap last year, but the cost cap is integral to the sport, as its goal is to get F1 teams closer together. And F1 boss Stefano Domenicali told Sport, I would like the penalty to be sporting in case of infringement. It is something we ask for very clearly. There are three regulations to be respected, sporting, technical and financial. Any infractions must be punished with sporting measures. You can't go in other directions. Now while the cost cap is integral to the sport, Rebel's biggest rivals say that the rules have been the main barrier in preventing them from closing the gap to the front of the field. Now for two years Rebel have been dominant, despite the punishment they received for breaching the cap in 2021, and while rivals have upgraded their cars to get closer to Rebel, they're still nowhere near to be honest. And Mercedes team boss Toto Wolf said, the cost cap is a real constraint now, because you can't just go for a B-spec car. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell have been pretty vocal about what they would want to change in the car, and that's simply not possible because we're lacking the financial corridor. And that's why we're looking very much in next year to change these things. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care.